recording. Okay. All right, so you gotta get back into your technique. So how are we gonna do that? First of all, you gotta pedal, dude. Um, first thing you're doing with the pedals, you're doing your C inversion exercise. So it's C, three times, pedal after the chord, never lose contact with the pedal. Then hold the major, pedal down, go to the next inversion, E, G, C. And it's always the E flat that goes down to go minor. Play major, pedal down, next inversion, G, C, E. That's your inversion exercise. Do the same exercise with group one, major and minor, which are C, F, and G. You should be able to do the whole exercise without any break in your sound by using the pedal. Then move on and do the same chord exercise with group two, D, E, and F, which are the opposite. Now we have a scale exercise, two octaves, C major and minor. So you do one, two, three, cross. One, two, three, four, cross. And then you repeat that. Now in the reverse, you just you flip it. So it's you do five cross, three cross. One, two, three, four, five cross. One, two, three cross. One, two, three, four. And in the minor, you have to flatten the three, six, and seven. So it's the same fingering. Hey Jack. Oh no, it's tornado. Hey, what's up, Nate? Say hi to Truman. Hand, you'll start on C and do the same fingering. One, two, three, cross. One, two, three, four, cross. Okay, and then in reverse. Five, cross. Three, cross. You'll know when the fingers line up. Now the same thing with a two octave arpeggio. You want to play. You want to be on the note before you move to the next one. And start with a nice big pinky. Come down. On the note before you play it. Same thing with the minor. Okay, and the same thing with the left hand, starting with your thumb with C. Everything's a little harder with the left hand, it's slower. And minor, you're on the note before you depress it. And you're playing slowly. Okay, and finally your song. So, O oh Yoko. Um, left hand's easy. C flat octave, C octave, B flat octave. Playing quarter notes with the upper voice. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So the last measure is split between the B flat and the C. Right hand, A flat, D flat, F. So you hit that, and then you do a big arpeggio. That's D flat, A flat, F, D flat, A flat. Again. Okay, now it's an A flat chord, A flat, C, and E flat, but you play the top two voices alone. So you do that twice, and then you add the F. And just finish with a straight arpeggio. Okay, now we move to B flat minor, F, B flat, and D flat. Just hit that once while the thumb's rocking, and then you switch, you invert it, but you start with the C in the middle, B flat, C, and F, and you do this riff. Where the pinky just holds the F down. Okay? So, that's going to be this when you put it together. flat to the C. And then when you get to the chorus, you can just mess around with these chords and we'll flesh it out next week. It's um, D flat to A flat, back, and then you have a G flat, which is B flat, D flat, and G flat, like this. But it's only two beats and it goes right back to G flat, to D flat, so it's G flat, and then you stay on D flat, A flat, chart 
Here's your D flat from the intro. That's your A flat. Your G flat will always be B flat, D flat, and G flat. And then your B flat minor is down here. That's it.